Hi, and welcome to Below Average Gaming's uh, Background Noise. Now what this is, is this is um, a new idea that I had that I was thinking about doing. I had my podcasts, I had my gaming stuff, I had all sorts of things, and I thought, you know, I, I don't have a chance to really just talk to you guys uh, about something that I've been thinking about, or things that I've been thinking about, or, you know, j j just things going on in the world. And I thought Background Noise is a good I, I, I don't want to toot my own horn and say it was a good idea. It was a great idea, fantastic idea that I had. You guys should praise me for having this idea. But my thought was, you know, I, I want a spot to talk about things that I want to talk about. Um, and I thought that the best place to do that is to make my own little section. And it's background noise because, and here's the reason why, when I listen to podcasts or I listen to people discuss things or I listen to talks or stuff like that, I, I listen to it in the background. I never usually just sit down and listen to something, so that's why there's no video, no nothing. It's just this with the logo, the background noise logo, and the Blue Average Gaming stuff there. But it's just an idea that I had for just talking, for just communicating, for just saying something that I've been thinking about that may or may not have bearing to video games, that may or may not have bearing to TV. Uh, this episode does, but yeah, thank you for joining us. So let me start this episode by saying I am a huge, huge fan of Ben 10. I love Ben 10. I love the series. I love uh, Ben 10. I love Alien Force. I, I I kind of liked Omnitrix, or not Omnitrix, I'm sorry, Omniverse. I actually kind of liked Omniverse. It was a good show on its own. I don't think it belonged really in the Ben 10 universe. Um, it, had a, it had a decent storyline towards the end that I thought kind of fit more into the Ben 10 universe. But at the beginning, I think they were kind of trying to find their bearings. So yeah, that's my, my, my first initial thoughts. Ben 10, the original, was great. Um, I had a hard time getting into Alien Force, but it's one of those shows that I started to like after it was, as it was starting to end, and I just went back and watched. And I, I like it. It did get a little bit more, it did get a little darker than the original Ben 10 series, which I enjoyed. Uh, it, it was a new take on this hero, and it didn't really steal anything away from the original series. It brought back a lot of classic characters and reinvented them and gave them new story, gave them a purpose in this new universe, as well as showing a lot of um, dexterity with characters, with villains that are a little bit more interesting than what we had in just a boy versus Dr. Animo, or versus Zaskar, and uh, the evil ghost freak, and Vilgax. You actually got to have characters who had history with these with these other characters, who had, you know, vendettas against these heroes. You got more detailed, more complex characters, which I just loved. And that's what I'm saying. I, I gave Alien Force a chance. I think I was a little late on the bandwagon for it, but I really enjoyed it. Now, the the, th the reason that I bring this up, uh, the reason that I bring this up, is because there's this new series that's coming out or has come out already. Um, the Ben 10 reboot. It's just called Ben 10, but I'm gonna go ahead and refer to it as Ben 10 reboot, as the rest of the internet is referring to it as. It doesn't even get its own name. It's just reboot. The Ben 10 reboot. Um, or maybe you could even do like reboot, but the second O has a one in front of it, so it's a ten. So it's like Rebo 10 T. Um, whatever. It's just, I don't like it. And I think that it, I don't like it because of, uh, there's a lot of people who don't like it, I should say. There's a lot of people who don't like it just because it's a reboot of one of their favorite shows or they don't like the animation. Let me say the reason that I don't like it. The reason that I don't like it is this, they're, they're doing the same setup with um, Teen Titans, with Powerpuff Girls, and now with Ben 10, which is that they find something that people are really excited about. You say, we're rebooting this show and everyone's like, oh my gosh, this is amazing, this is fantastic, I've been waiting for this for so long. And instead of um, going back to their roots, instead of recreating something good and altogether just fantastic, they they <clears throat> they take away all that those things that we were looking forward to. It's like they, they list off all the things that we were looking forward to about the reboot in the series, and they say, okay, all of that, we're not including any of that stuff in this new thing. And I thought that's what they did with Ben 10. I looked at the character designs, I looked at it, and it's, it's wacky. It's just too out there, too silly for the show. They even got characters like, um, in the original 10, they removed Ghost Freak and replaced him with another character who's basically Water Hazard from um, Alien Force, or Ultimate Alien. Um, but I, I, don't, I don't even know the character's name. He's just a water character. And they, they introduce him, I believe, in the first episode of the reboot, which the entire storyline of the first episode of the Ben 10 reboot is based around a storyline that actually already existed in the Ben 10 universe. It's the same story that they included in the Ben 10 universe already. Early, it was like season one of the original Ben 10. But it's not like a callback, it's not like a redo of that story. It's just the same story over, and they just pretend that the original didn't take place, which I think 
What hurt me most was the fact that they, they thought they could get away with that. With just saying, you know, that original Ben 10? Nah, doesn't matter. It, it, it will pretend that that never happened. Because they, they replace Ghost Freak with this new character who just shoots water. Um, they turn all the characters into superheroes. Like, they're very clearly superhero characters. Instead of aliens. Which I liked. I, I really enjoyed that the original Ben 10 characters and even the Alien Force um, characters... They looked like aliens. They looked alien. They didn't look... They, they, some of them looked humanoid, but they looked like aliens. Um, and they changed Stinkfly into a bipedal, like, basically just a, a human. Imagine, like, a, just a person. They gave him, like, a superhero costume. He looks like Spider-Man. He has the big bug eyes and the wings, and that's it. But he's just a person with bug eyes and wings. And I do not enjoy that. Um, it's... I, they, they took away a huge part of the story they took away i'd say 90 percent of the story being that these characters are aliens and instead just made them all into superheroes that he could turn into 10 different superheroes which is what i thought when i first heard the concept for ben 10 all those years ago was they said he can turn into 10 different superheroes i thought oh so this is just basically um dial h for hero which is a, a dc comic it's just basically dial h for hero that's kind of cool and then i watched it and my first impression was oh, this is kind of weird, it's kind of dumb, I don't understand why they have these superheroes, and then it became this thing of, oh, it's aliens. He becomes aliens because his Omnitrix gathers alien DNA, and for the point of the phrase, walk a mile in someone else's shoes, the, the purpose was to allow aliens to understand what it's like to be a different alien, to stop wars, to bring peace to the entire galaxy. And uh, the joke was that a kid gets it and uses it to save the world. And that's awesome. That's fantastic. That's the setup for a great superhero. But, you know, taking away that factor, the fact that they are aliens and making them into superheroes, making them just look like superheroes, it, it removes that whole mentality that this thing was meant to bring peace to the universe. Which I think was the overall expansion of the story was. This thing was meant to bring peace to the universe. A kid got it. Man, now that that whole thing is thrown off, we're going to fail at this mission. And then even though this little kid got it, he's still able to bring peace to the universe. But now, and I think that was a big point of Omniverse, was as him starting out as this arrogant dude, just saying, like, I'm a hero. I don't want anyone to talk to me. I don't need a partner. I'm a superhero. And kind of realizing, you know, the universe is so much bigger than that and that he has to be a part of this story. Because um, as Omniverse gets towards the end of its series, this is where I'm saying it becomes more Ben 10, is by the end of the series... You know, there's this thing with him and the future him and past him and delving into the connections between the timelines and, and things like that. They even make jokes and references to the fact that they've changed the story multiple times. But they make references to the fact that the universe is so much bigger. You may have all these aliens and you may be able to save the world. You may have saved the entire universe time and time again. But you play a bigger part than just a superhero. You are a savior. You're someone here... To, to save people. You're here to save humanity. To save alien kind. And I, I feel like this new reboot is going against everything that the original Ben 10 series is stand, stood for. You know? One of the big things with the first Ben 10 series was family. And the point of pulling family together. And saying, you know, we may be a family that, you know, Ben and Gwen may not like each other. But sometimes they have to put those differences aside to save the world, to become part of this bigger picture. And understanding, you know, Grandpa Max isn't just some plumber, some random dude. He's actually a superhero. That everyone is a superhero in their own right. And they even carry that into Alien Force when they start um, adopting these other characters who, you know, who, who have these powers and feel kind of left out in the world. The plumber's kids, as they call them, who end up becoming superheroes as well. On their own and they become this greater story of the plumbers which later comes back in ben 10 omniverse that the this there's a even bigger story than this big story is that it just keeps on expanding and that was awesome because this story started out as just some little kid who got powers and then it expanded to become no it's not just you this there's a bigger story there's the plumbers your grandpa isn't just some boring guy who travels the country he's actually this amazing superhero and you kind of realize that everyone is their own superhero. Uh, and everyone gets a chance to be a superhero. Then you expand into Alien Force, where even the villains, Kevin comes back and he becomes a hero. And he fights with that throughout that series. With, is he a hero? Is he a villain? Is he a man? Is he a monster? 
and Gwen kind of showing him that he can be a man, he can be a hero, he doesn't have to be what he was before, what everyone was telling him, he can actually be a superhero. And it expands to say, you know, the plumbers are actually this big organization. And when you get into Omni Omniverse, you start to realize that everything's gotten so much bigger in the past couple years. You know, the plumbers are now active in the world. The aliens are now a part of the story. They're not just something hidden out in the universe. They're a part of the city. They're a part of Bellwood. They're a part of Benten's life in a much greater scale. He's learning what it's like to live as an alien in Undertown. And then you get the reboot and they just take everything back and they say, let's start over. Um, forget all that stuff. We're just going to make a crazy, wacky cartoon. And I, I, I hate to think in this way. I hate to think in this light with a show that's so great, that's so awesome like Ben 10. But I, I, I have this mentality that it's just to, to sell toys. And I know that that was the idea with Omniverse. I, I'm pretty sure that they have blatantly said before the entire idea with Omniverse was to just sell toys, to have like a different alien every episode, a new alien every episode, or a new uh, custom form of the alien every episode that you can make toys out of. And that, that, that pissed me off, that made me mad, because they're, again, they're destroying this great story about family, about friendship, about what it really means to be a hero. And they, they're, they're just destroying that. And Omniverse, I think Omniverse kind of figured that out halfway through, you know, we're losing a lot of story. We're losing a lot of passion. We're losing a lot of the things that make Ben 10 Ben 10. And they kind of fixed it. I, I, Omniverse had one of the best endings to any of the Ben 10 series that I've ever seen. It was fantastic. If you haven't seen it, I suggest you go back and watch it. But it had a great ending that just, <coughs> excuse me, that just encapsulated the entire story. And it, it even encapsulated the original Ben 10 series, Alien Force, Ultimate Alien, um, Galactic Monsters, Omniverse, all that stuff, it wrapped all that up so perfectly in a nice little bow and and said, you know, we're going to make more. There's going to be so much more stuff to come. So many more grander adventures. This thing, whatever this story is, is going to expand so much bigger than you can, can grasp. And then they took a thousand steps backward with this reboot. And it's just... It's, it's upsetting. Because at this point, now it is just a look how popular the show is imagine all the money we can make type idea and it's it's an it's i don't know i'm i'm upset about it and i know a lot of people are upset about it because it's going to be that same thing as teen titans go and powerpuff girls and now ben 10 reboot that same thing of like we were really excited it happened and now no one cares no one cares teen titans go probably had the best outcome that could have happened out of that um, from the negative side is like of all the bad things that could happen people like it but everyone still agrees this is not Teen Titans this is just a wacky show that people happen to enjoy and it's fine if you enjoy it I'm not blaming you for enjoying a show that you like it's just you know it, it's not it's not what we were promised and Powerpuff Girls was not what we were promised and this Ben 10 reboot is so far from what we were promised you know I always thought I was that person who said you know once comic books became the old media for superheroes we're not going to be able to have any more superheroes. There's not going to be anything else that could possibly come. You know, once comic books are done, there's it's going to be so difficult to make a superhero. And they did it. Man of Action actually did it. He created a character, Ben 10, who is a superhero, a new superhero, with crazy out there powers that everyone loved, that everyone was a fan of, that was just so exciting, such an amazing thing to watch, and such an amazing thing to be a part of, with characters who were well-developed, who were thought out, who had history, who had the ability to return and redeem themselves in multiple ways. It had the aspects of time travel, and they made it so simple for us to understand, but also at the same time kept it so complex that there were always surprises to that storyline. And again, they just ruined it. They completely ruined everything that they'd built over those past couple years. Everything that they'd made, everything that they'd done. I, I'm sorry if I'm just ranting, but... But it's just... It's so sad to see some something so high be brought down so far. Now, am I saying that I'm done with Ben 10? Am I saying, you know, I'm not a fan, I hate it? No, I'm not. I'm not saying that at all. Um, I still love Ben 10. I love to draw, and I think that Ben 10 character is one of the funnest things to draw. Um... 100% of the time. I've just, I finished doing a two week long project on Ben 10 uh, just because the new reboot came out and I was like, I'm going to show people that the old versions can still be cool. And I did that project and I love it and I post it online and I see people commenting on it every day and I'm just, 
I'm enamored by the amount of people who just love Ben 10 and who are so pumped for um, for more stuff happening with the old Ben 10 series. But you know, it's <clears throat> it's it's bad. I mean, when they did um, the Ben 10 live actions, I think they had a really good setup with that Ben 10 live action series, like not series, but movies, um, of having the series come make a live action movie to kind of wrap everything up. And it was cool. And then they had another series, Alien Force, made a uh, live action movie to wrap it up. And that was great. And they had Omniverse. I would even have liked to see an Omniverse live action. That would have been pretty interesting with the amount of aliens that they have in that show. I've just seen that. It'd be very Star Wars esque. Almost like a goofy Star Wars type thing. But now with the reboot, I don't know what they're going to do. Um, I'm not saying that I've, like, I've completely abandoned Ben 10. Because like I said earlier, you know, same thing happened with Teen Titans Go and Powerpuff Girls. Everyone was excited, it came out, and then it was just completely abandoned. Because people were so devastated that what they wanted was gone. But, you know, I'm, I'm going to give it a chance. I've watched a couple episodes, and it's... It's goofy, it's wacky, it's silly, it's not the Ben 10 that I liked, but it's interesting. It has some of the same villains. Um, they try to introduce new villains. They try to, to mix the villains from the original series with the villains from Alien Force, with the villains from Omniverse, which I think is interesting. Because I feel like that's one thing that Omniverse, Alien Force, and the original Ben 10 kind of lacked, was the ability to pull all of those worlds together via minor characters, via villains. Um, the closest I would say is in Omniverse when they had, they had an episode where Billy Billions, who's a character from that series, from that version, brought together, um, Captain Nemesis and not Captain Kangaroo. What was his name? Like Admiral Kangaroo or something. But they all came together and that was three different versions of Ben 10 villains all brought onto a single team. And I thought that was really interesting to have that. Um, and I was, I was really excited. I was really pumped to see something so like... It was just very surreal seeing all three of them in the new artwork brought together. And I see the reboot trying to do that type of stuff. I've seen Billy Billions in in episodes as well as Animo and Vilgax. I don't know. Actually, I don't think I've seen Vilgax in the new series. But, um, yeah, I'm sorry I said that. That was, that was an outright lie. But, uh, yeah, you know, I see these other characters in there. And I'm curious what they're going to do. I'm... I'm because I'm excited to see what can happen, because I thought the same thing with Omniverse was it came out, and I was like, what a goofy, like, low-life version of this show. And as the show progressed, and introduced more characters, and brought back other characters, and redefined certain characters, I looked and I was like, this is actually kind of interesting. I was a little late on the bandwagon for it, because I started watching it once the show had already concluded, but, you know, I, I watched it, and I was like, this is actually an interesting show. And I'm kind of upset that I missed it when it was on. But that that was that was an interesting thing, Omniverse. So if, if you avoided Omniverse for the same reason, I suggest you go back and watch them. They're they're actually very similar to the original Ben 10 series because the humor is like 10 year old humor. Yeah, he's like 15, 16 or whatever, but it is like 10 year old humor. Um, and then I know the Alien Force got a little darker, so this was a good transition. I know a lot of people thought the same thing. They thought like this is too goofy, this is too wacky with Omniverse. But if you look back at the original Ben 10 series, it's the same type of humor spread across with just a few things and nods and to, to the fact that, you know, we understand that our clientele, that our viewers are a little bit older. So here's a couple nods to some of the cartoons you grew up with. I love the fact they included like Billy from Billy and Mandy. They included a uh, cow and chicken from previous episodes. They included a ton of characters who are just like nods to other shows from my childhood that I, I, I loved seeing those characters in there and I thought it was hilarious because I'd be watching it with my younger brothers or I'd be watching it um, just around my parents or with my girlfriend or whatever and I'd point it out and be like that's a character from a different TV show and I would laugh to myself thinking like I can't believe that they did that that's so funny that a character from like 15 years ago is back on TV as an alien and fits perfectly into that world that's great that you can do that but the, the reboot I'm hoping that there are good things because I thought the same thing with, like I said, I thought the same thing with Omniverse. So the reboot, I'm hoping, brings something. So no matter how minuscule it is, I'm hoping that it brings something into the world that we're able to keep. Because it is, they are working to rewrite the story. Which I know, if you look at Alien Force a little bit and Omniverse a lot, 
they talk about how there are alternate dimensions and these are all happening in different realities. That's why some stuff tends to not make sense. Um, so yeah, if, if you want if you want to kind of see something that makes all of Ben 10 make sense as a whole, I'd suggest watching the last season of Omniverse. I think it's season 8. That'll bring everything together. I know you're thinking, like, I don't want to watch Omniverse. You know, it's lame, it's dumb, it's goofy, it's too... It's, it, trust me, it, it gets a little bit more serious as you get closer to the end with Ben's dating life, with um, future Ben, with the idea of fate and destiny and this time war going on and just the idea of these universes meshing and colliding together and eventually making Ben 10 the hero that he's always wanted to be. And I, I, I really wanted to see what happened next. What was the next step for Benjamin Tennyson? So I'm, I'm not giving up on Ben 10 yet because I know it's one of Cartoon Network's biggest money makers, which is unfortunately the thing that I know is going to save it is the fact that it just makes tons of money and they can make toys out of all the aliens, and that's why they're constantly introducing new aliens, is so that they can make more toys and make more money. But I think that that's what's going to save it. It's just the fact that we have to have story to back up those characters that they're adding. Because they're adding these characters to make money, obviously. But you, you need the story there as well, which I'm hoping they don't abandon. I feel at this point that they have abandoned story just for the money-making aspect. And I'm hoping that that's not the case. I'm hoping that I'm thinking the same thing that I thought with Omniverse. That's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping that I'm going to be pleasantly surprised by what comes out of it. So far, not much. It's a funny little cartoon, but it's not Ben 10. It's not adding or taking away anything from the story. So, yeah. That's my thoughts on this new Ben 10 series. This has been Background Noise. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I know I have a ton of people who are watching this or listening to this or whatever you're doing or tasting it um, or smelling it, whatever, due to it just being on my channel and you're a fan of my channel. Thank you, by the way, for being a fan of my channel. I appreciate that. But this has been Background Noise. Again, um, repeating myself. Let me know what you think. Comments below. Like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate you. You are the best. And thanks for checking us out. Bye.